I want to take a look at backups tonight, really get into, we're starting a four-part series on backups, and one of the things that I want to reiterate is the importance of uh, keeping a backup. And I don't mean just running a backup once in a while. We tend to, you know, back up our files when we think of it, mm -hmm. stick it in a desk drawer, you know, maybe burn it to a CD or a DVD and then throw it in a drawer somewhere or put it in, in a stack of other DVDs and not label them and stuff like that. Uh, so that can be a problem, and, and that concerns me. One of the things that I want to look at is some of the options that we have as far as storage goes. So I've just brought out a couple of the devices that I use. Um, and maybe if you, know, if you have any questions for me, Carrie, that, you know, so that we can explain things a little better uh, okay. if, if things are getting a little confusing or whatever. Okay, I'll pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> I always pay attention. Yeah, so we've got, <laughs> we've got our flash drive. This is like yeah, typical over-the-counter the now. Yeah. This is what you use for your backups. Yep. My wife uses this as well because she doesn't have very high capacity needs for her backups. Okay. So she just pops this in. She keeps her files on her hard drive, but then when she wants to run a backup, she manually puts in her flash drive, copies her files over to the flash drive, and then put, I, I think she actually just keeps it in her purse, which is a brilliant thing, because mm -hmm. then on the way out the door, if there's an emergency or something, you just grab, you tend to grab your purse anyways, right? Mm -hmm. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Uh, and then I've got an external USB drive. Joan, this is uh, something like what we were talking about with an external uh, USB 2.0 drive. So it's just a USB and it uses power. And this is just a, basically, it's any of these devices are just a regular hard drive uh, put into a, an external chassis. So inside of this device is just a standard hard drive, something, something similar to this. Oh, that one's got a cable on it. There we go something along these lines. So this is actually inside of this device. Okay. So that is good because it's high capacity, but in this instance, it's only one drive, so there's no redundancy on this drive. So that means that if this drive gets dropped, if this drive gets damaged, mm -hmm. there's no copy of this drive. So as far as redundancy goes, it's not that great, but oh, it is okay. as long as you keep as long as you keep a file like a copy on your hard drive at the same time, then this can be redundant to your computer's hard drive. Okay, right. yeah. So to step it up from there is you can look at devices called either RAID. You can see RAID NAS if you see that. Uh, that is a network attached storage device. Uh, there's another device called the Drobo, which is similar to a RAID. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about what a RAID is. That's essentially being able to put, and this is very lay terms to, to try to explain it, uh, being able to put more than one drive in this external enclosure in such a way that when you back up to that drive, it actually copies it to two or three or four drives simultaneously. Okay. It's like so carbon paper. Exactly, like when you write yeah. and it goes through. Right, so, so okay. then what happens is, not only are you backing up if your hard drive and your computer crashes, but what happens if your data backup drive crashes? Because hard drives do tend to crash. Yeah, yeah, then you've lost everything. Uh, and ironically, and here's a good situation, um, not a good one, but here's what happened to me once. Um, and, you know, I tend to keep good backups, but uh, a few years ago, well, not a few years ago, many years ago, um, one of the wake-up calls for me is I had an external backup drive. I backed up my entire hard drive to that backup drive. It was just a single uh, drive. Okay. Thinking, okay, well, that's, now I've got a backup. Now I'm going to reformat my computer and install the new operating system. So I was upgrading my computer. I had backed up to a single drive. Okay. And now I was going to wipe out my computer. So I did that. Then when I hooked up that backup drive, that backup drive crashed. <gasps> so after. you had nothing So I had wiped before. out my computer, and then I went to copy oh. everything back and lost it all. So that's a good example of where having had a RAID device would have been right. substantially better for me. Uh, because then at least if that hard drive had crashed, I would have had a redundant copy within that external backup drive. Uh, and you can see that that would be, you know, we tend to, oh, yeah. you know, you've got to back up your stuff and then wipe out your hard drive if you want to upgrade your computer and things like that. So you've mm -hmm. got to watch out for that. Um, mm -hmm. Also, I mentioned the Drobo. The Drobo is just, it's quite expensive, but it's a similar device to a RAID, but it's a little more user-friendly when it comes to setup and things like that. You can just pop in drives and take them out and things. Uh, you don't have to configure the RAID controllers or anything like that. So if you're, if you're an end user who has a little bit of extra money to kill and you want to have a really good redundant backup, <laughs> Um, this device uses USB 2.0 and it allows you to put in up to four drives and they can be any capacity uh, among themselves so you don't have to match up the capacities which is really nice. Um, so other than that I've got my uh, Blacks from Thermaltake which I reviewed uh, quite a while ago. The thing I love about this is it's got not only USB 2.0 but also it's got E serial ATA. So USB 2.0, as I was mentioning to Joan a little earlier, is only 480 megabits a second. So that's the speed of the drive. 
Uh, on the other hand, ESATA allows you to plug directly into the, the SATA bus on your computer's uh, motherboard, which means the drive is going to carry data at 3 gigabits per second. So is that more than a gig? Like, that's a gig. Is that right? Uh, as far as gigabits go, not gigabytes. Gigabits. Okay, gigabyte. 3 gigabits versus USB 2.0, which would be only f uh, 0 0.4 okay. of a gigabit. So uh, substantially faster if you go with SATA. Uh, so this allows you to uh, use SATA drives or uh, SATA hard drive, uh, laptop hard drives. So both form factors of drive. Okay. So I find this is really handy to keep uh, by my desk because I like to, you know, back up to extra, like to, to drives all the time, and I don't necessarily want to have to use an enclosure. So okay. Um, so those are a couple of options, and of course, if you'd like to get into our website, Category Five TV, visit the forum. It's episode number sixty-eight. We'd love to have your comments, uh, find out what you use for your data backups, and uh, and sort of find some recommendations for anyone who's looking for something for their needs as well.